So we have the panel on the roof and the wire coming down and going through the closet. And over here to the unit and to the battery. The unit is turned on and fully charged is uh, 13.5 volts and you can plug and unplug outlets right now I have a couple of lights connected so, this is the power cable So everything is in one unit. The other cable is for the freezer. This is the freezer and this is the power that are the lights. So you, you can plug, plug more things if you want, but we only recommend to use this unit for the freezer only and maybe some, some lights only. So from here, you follow the, the green wire. It comes around over here it goes through the wall so from the wall you follow the wire follow the cable I have it connected to the meter just to show you production and then from the unit this is the unit it's fully fully stocked already working and right now it's, it's off so when I so when I plug it in it's gonna show production and now it's on and it's only drawing 79 watts no. 120 volt no. 0.89 amps and here you have it uh, one quick note, just have it to run on, on lowest possible, it still is enough to freeze and froze all your food. Don't, don't pump it up all the way to number 5 or 6 or 10, because you're going to drain the battery even further. So number 1 is, is, is good enough. Okay. So there you have it, solar freezer. Now I'm only sh I'm showing this connection, this setup, on an apartment just to show you guys that it's possible to own just an apartment and have your own solar freezer. If you own a house or a ranch or a cabin or an RV, mobile home, even better. You can also monitor the performance of the panels and the battery via Bluetooth connection with an app that's already included on the system.